Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at Filmmakers EDC, Everyday Carry, what I bring to set um, when I'm shooting, when I'm scouting, um, but mainly the kind of stuff that I've learned through absolute um, near failure and disaster to have with me when I'm shooting a film. So I'm going to stay away from that overtly obvious things um, like a laptop and a camera and all the things that you would always think to bring to set. The iPhone is a really great filmmaking tool, not because you're going to be texting people and checking your YouTube stats between takes because um, it has a light, it has a um, sun finder, there's a whole bunch of apps um, that uh, like Artemis, like a director's viewfinder. It is a really good tool on set to have. What most people don't think about is that if you're using your phone all day and you're away from power, you're gonna need a backup battery. That can be in the case or it can be an external power source that you can plug your phone in during lunch so that you have enough to get back to the car or back to, back to the studio at the end of the day. Next item is a watch. Uh, you do not want to be pulling your phone out of your pocket every time you want to see how much time is left, how much time has gone by, how much time you have. Uh, it's much easier to glance down at your watch, see where you are in your day. Um, it doesn't need to be fancy, it doesn't need to have um, a timer or anything on it. As long as you're happy to wear it, you remember it, and it gets you through the day, have one on your wrist and save yourself a lot of problems. Hat and sunglasses. I would only say this because I've forgotten them before. If you were shooting outside, you were going to get burnt to a crisp if you spend 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours standing in the sun. This is not my film hat. My film hat is a big, nerdy, floppy thing that covers the back of my neck. You are not going to sleep very well and you are not going to be happy on day two if you get really bad sunburn on day one. Something else I bring on every shoot, whether I'm inside or outside, is a neck gaiter. This one was a present, has a zombie pattern um, printed on it, but I have ones in wool, I have ones in cotton. Um, purposes, it's a scarf that isn't gonna get tangled in things and won't come off and keep you warm on a cold morning. You can wet it in water and put it on when it's hot and the evaporation will keep you really cool, protects your neck from the sun and generally just gives you a chance to um, be dressed appropriately. If you're shooting somewhere dusty or smoky, um, you can use it to filter the air that you're breathing. Very cool thing that I discovered and now I always take with me to set. Next up is a Leatherman. You can get one with a nylon or leather pouch, put it through your belt loop, um, and have it on set. Make sure that it has a flat as well as a Phillips head um, screwdriver, has a knife for opening things or cutting cables or rope. Um, the Leathermans have uh, pliers, needle nose pliers, which are really great for getting things that are stuck. Especially if you're the director, you're not really getting your hands that dirty, you're focused on the actors and the story. Someone somewhere at some point will need these things um, and it's really great for you to have them. After all, it's your film that's going to be delayed for 20 minutes if someone has to run back to the car to get the screwdriver because you want to swap the tripod plate but the, the one stuck on the camera. Um, the, you shouldn't leave home without these, these are great. I have a couple of these. This is sort of a you know generic one from a few years ago. I'm always forgetting to put them in my um, checked luggage and getting them confiscated at the airport. Um, I like the uh, Skelly tool from Leatherman because it's light and it has a reversible driver, so it's very accessible. Um, but pretty much anything that has a pliers, both types of screwdrivers and a knife will get you through the day. This is a cool little thing. Um, there was actually a gift uh, about 15 years ago from the first DP I ever worked with and I kind of bring it with me to set as a lucky charm. Um, it is a Tiffin color contrast viewer and it's a little eyepiece uh, with a very dark ND um, filter that lets you look up at the sky and see uh, how the clouds are moving without hurting your eyes um, from the sun. Or generally just looking at things that are really bright um, to get a read on them uh, before you shoot and give you a sense of uh, how much time you have before the cloud moves in front of the sun or moves away from the sun. But really fun and they look, uh, like I said, this, is, this has been my lucky charm. If you are shooting nights and you are gonna have a tough time staying awake, um, I've tried lots of different things. 
I've tried coffee, I've tried energy drinks, um, I've tried dunking my head in cold water. Um, all of them work to some extent, but the best thing I've found for um, working nights is caffeine gum. There's a military strength one on Amazon that's great. Um, if you don't have coffee for a couple of days before um, you have to work at night, like during the day, and build a, sort of you, your tolerance falls, and then um, you can chew this stuff all night and you know, the sun will come up and you'll barely even notice. It's amazing stuff. I've also used it when I'm driving all night um, and you know, knock on wood, no accidents so far. Get a really good pair of gloves if you're gonna be moving things and working outside. Um, again, not always the director's thing, but uh, if you're on independent film, you're gonna be lifting things, touching hot lights. It's awesome to have gloves. You can get these at the Home Depot or on Amazon for 15 or $20. Um, something that I realized, which is great for gloves, is wrapping cables or moving stands around that have been on the floor. If you're working in a warehouse or you're working outside, light cables on the ground get really filthy. And after you've wrapped up cable, uh, your hands can be like black and then you have to sit down and try and eat lunch or like wash them with a water bottle and no soap. Anytime you have to touch something or lift something, um, super, uh, super helpful to have um, a good pair of gloves to protect your hands. Oh, have a Sharpie on set or a pen. I use this ridiculously uh, overbuilt thing called a tactical stylus, um, which I guess you can stab someone with if they try and steal your camera. But generally you'll need to, you, you will need to sign things, um, write on things, mark things, mark your water bottle. Um, and it's really great to have a pen or something to write with in arm's reach. This is something I learned in my um, early filmmaking days is the mini script. If you go into your PDF um, printing thing, you can put two pages on one page or even four pages on one page and have like a little pocket version of the script pages for that day with you. So that if someone asks for a line or you need to work out, um, you need to look at the script, it's not as bad as carrying around a big version of it. You can use your tactical stylus or your pen to like uh, cross things off as you um, shoot them. Um, and generally it really, I really like having one um, with me. I've heard some directors go ahead and laminate a little mini script, so they just take the pages they need or have a have a, um, a little binder clip in the top corner. Um, if they're working outside and things might get wet, which I think is really cool. Uh, and you end up having a collection of little laminated mini scripts at the end of your um, film. But generally it really helps for the director to be on the same page as everyone else, literally. My last thing is headphones. Get a good pair of headphones. Uh, the audio guy will probably hand you some or I've seen people trying to use earbuds. Um, I've played around with using um, the Bose noise canceling headphones on set. Um, they come in a nice little packet. Uh, the advantage of these is that, and I only use them indoors now, the advantage of them is that they block out all the um, extra sound and let you focus on just what the actors are saying. As good as the Bose are, they're not industrial quality. They're not um, meant for, you know, hard work environments. They're meant for kicking back on a plane and listening to audiobooks. And the other danger of noise cancelling headphones is sets can be dangerous places. People can be walking around with hot or sharp or heavy things and it's not great to isolate yourself too much from the environment around you. So get some, um, not earbuds, but over the ear, cheap headphones, um, 10 or $20 uh, that you almost always see around the neck of directors in behind the scenes. This will let you listen to what the actors are saying without cutting you off too much from your environment. Uh, last but not least, I should say thank you to Armando from Mundo Bites who inspired this segment. Has amazing videos, please check them out. Yeah, this is part one I am gonna do. This is my general purpose filmmaking EDC. This is what I take to set pretty much 90% of the time I work. I'm gonna do a adventure filmmaking outdoors kit for being away from power and water and those kind of things um, for long periods of time. So part one, stay tuned, part two. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you next time.